So as you can see, I have my video editing software open right here. And the reason is I wanted to include part of one of the lectures from my follow-up class, and it's one that's great for beginners. It's all about how to use the different style editors in Google Chrome Developer Tools. Okay, so I have this code pen open here. I'm going to bring up the dev tools. And I have them docked to the right side because it'll be a little bit easier to show this this time. So I'm going to inspect here. And first I'm going to show you the color picker. You can click here. You have a whole bunch of options in here. So one thing you can do is actually use this color picker and select another color on the page, which I've done there. You can use these sliders. And then you can edit in hex, RGBA, or HSL, whatever you like. And what else is neat is they actually have the page colors. These are colors that are actually on the page right now. Let me shut off the color picker. Right click here and inspect this for the box shadow editor. So if you had added a box shadow to one of these, you get this little neat editor where you can edit this stuff. Let's say I want to change the where this box goes, or I want to make it an inset shadow. That actually looks pretty bad. Let's go with outset. outset. Let's add some spread to it. I don't know. I'm not a designer, but you can sit with a designer and take care of this stuff. Let's look at the text shadow editor. I've already added a text shadow to this item. I can click the shadow editor. And this one's very similar to the last one. So this says margin example. I made a mistake. It's actually a padding example. So if I inspect this element, there's an outer and an inner padding item. And this outer item has a color of light green and it's got some padding set. So if I actually click over to the computed tab, actually, let's go back. So I always kind of forget which item is which with all this padding, like which one's the top left bottom. If I go into computed, I can actually see that right here. And what's nice also is this is what all the final computed values of the CSS are. So this might be helpful for debugging where a particular item has come from. If I open this up, it shows me the source file here, which since this is in code pen, it's a little obfuscated, but you can click this and go to your CSS file normally. Do another example with the box model here. So I have this box model inner that has a couple styles set. Actually, it just fills the area. But this one actually is or has padding, border, and margin. So if I look at computed, I can hover over margin, and then you saw that the margin gets highlighted over here. And I hover over the border. And that border changed from magenta to some other kind of pink. There's the padding. That's the inner padding. And the actual di dimensions of the inner area are 26 by 26. And box model inner actually fills that area. And you can see these are the computed values here. And it shows you that the height of this is 100% of the bounding container. So let's take a look at this hover example. I'm going to right click here and inspect the element. Here we go. We have it highlighted. And right now it's indigo. And if I highlight over it, I think it turns to some other shade of purple. So how do we actually see that over here? You kind of expect it to change automatically when you hover, but it doesn't. So what we can do is we can click this little colon HOV and select hover down here to set the hover pseudo state. So we got that there. And you can see the CSS down here changes to the hover state. So if you have other pseudo classes like active, focused, or visited, you can also simulate those so you can see what's going on down here. 
This says animation editor. And it's this little animation example. I actually wanted to show you the timing function editor. So excuse me for getting that wrong. But as you can see, I'm using an ease function down here. And I can tweak these to different sort of values to change the motion of the animation. And it shows the motion up here as well. You can also click on these items here and switch between the various built-ins as starting points. And then I can tweak them as necessary. I'm going to inspect this last one. We'll get rid of this hover panel. And if I actually want to add a style, I can just go over here and add one of these things that does an editor. So let's add a box shadow. That actually looks pretty cool, kind of 80s style. So we'll leave that as is. And I thought I'd quickly mention that you can add a new class to this, although I don't have that example set up. Or you can add a new style rule, and this will create a style sheet directly within your inspector that you can add properties to. All right, I hope you learned a lot about the extended editors that are available in Chrome Developer Tools.